Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally playing with the <laughs> Michaela Pot 2. Uh, I can't say it like she does, but the Glam Light, you know, collection with Michaela. Um, I was not going to film right away because I was going to do my base first, but then I thought after just watching the shadows in my haul video, they're like extremely pigmented it seems and I do want to use some of the green shades so I want to avoid like getting any green fallout. I, I don't even know if there would be fallout because I haven't tried Glam Light yet like in any of their palettes. But anyway, I just thought I would do my eyes first. So, but I already did my primer and spot concealing, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my, well I guess, I guess I'm just jumping right into this. Cause I already kind of went over, you know, an intro of this collection in that haul video, which I will link below. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in with my Urban Decay primer potion because I always do that. So if you missed that haul video, I did get the full collection, so I have both palettes. Um, but I think I want to use the big one today because it's like the main, you know, product of this collection. So let me open the box. This is um, Michaela here. If you don't know, she is from TikTok. I'm sure you know that. She's like very, very popular. <laughs> and that sound is coming from the palette, the top here, which is very extra. Um, but yeah, these are the shades and they look beautiful. But I feel like I have to go for a green look today because of like the whole palette theme. So we'll see what happens. So I'm thinking I will stick to these shades here. Um, I do have to go out the house today <laughs> during the day, so I don't know if I'm going to make this very like extreme smoky green, but yeah, let's just dive into it. So right off the bat, there is no um, like matte cream shade that I normally set my eye primer with and there's no like shade that pops out to me as a transition shade, which I usually do like a beigey brown kind of, you know, basic transition, but there is actually like no browns in this palette aside from this, which is like a green brown, but it still pulls very green. So I think I'm just gonna go right in with the shade 13. It looks kind of, the window is open, as you might be able to hear. <laughs> it looks kind of blue on camera, but in person it's like a minty green shade. So I think I'm just gonna go right in with that. And oh, I did get the brushes in the collection and I was waiting to use them. I was waiting to use them for this video so they are clean and they're very long because when I put them in my container of all my other brushes, <laughs> look how long they are compared to everything else. So we'll see if I like that, but I do like the shapes of them and right away I want to use this big fluffy one, number zero one. And this palette does have a giant mirror as you can see. But it doesn't flip like all the way back. I mean, I'm sure I could make it do that, but I don't want to because I don't want to break it. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of setting it down on my desk, but I'm going in with that shade 13. That's what it looks like on the brush. I guess I need to zoom you in. So, I'm scared. Well, I didn't do my face yet, so there's really nothing to worry about because if this goes everywhere, then I can just clean it up. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> that is very pigmented already, especially for like a pastel kind of shade. That's showing up nice and bright on my skin tone. It's really pretty. Um, okay, so I guess we're just going right into it. So I'm gonna switch with this smaller brush, which is number four. They don't have names, but I don't know if they exist outside of this collection and if they just made green ones for this collection. But do I want to stick to bright greens? I guess so. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Fall, Fall River. This one next to it. I just feel like that's a natural progression. It's very, it's a lot deeper though. So it looks like that. And I'm tapping off the brush because like I said, these are, they seem to be extremely pigmented. So I'm trying to focus this shade lower down, like in my actual crease. Well, I guess it's just going everywhere. <laughs> wow, okay. Another super easy to blend shade. Um, and now I'm going to do the shimmer and then deepen up the outer corner. But I like that so far. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so for the shimmer shade, I guess we're going full on green with the shade Grateful which is also right next to it. I think what I'm gonna do is first place it with a brush, but I might need to use my finger. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just using this flat tart brush that I use like all the time and it has no name and it was a free gift with purchase. So, okay, it looks like it's picking it up with the brush, but I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna put this, not like in the inner corner exactly, but close there, cause I'm gonna brighten the inner corner later. Okay, this is going on with the brush. It's very sparkly and pretty, but I think gonna need a finger to get the most payoff yeah because I the brush wasn't really picking up the base color it was just mostly picking up the shimmer part but now it's like full opacity that is really pretty oh my god I love it Okay, I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna go back in with this brush, a flatter one. This is the number two. And I don't know what I should do now because there's the, yeah, the shade, this shade here, right next to that one, which is Cody James. But there's also the shade Bro, which is like a different green family but it's lighter. So I think I wanna try that first and see what happens. So pigmented already. So I kinda of wanna put this on the outer V. These brushes are extremely soft, by the way. I really like them. Yeah, I think that's good. It is, like I said, a different like color family of green. It's 
It's more like a yellowy green, but I don't want to make this extremely smoky. So that's more like a wearable look for daytime for me. <laughs> okay, that blended out super easily also. So I'm just gonna go back in with the first brush without any extra product just to like soften everything on the top here. And then for the inner corner, there is a lot of fun inner corner shades, I have to say. Um, so there's this one, Glazed. Then there's this one, but I think as a pink shift, Poppin'. There's Glitter, which would be really pretty with this look. And then the more gold ones. So this one is Glazed. I think that's just like a true like silver. And this is the greenish gold glitter shade. I think I'm gonna do the gold with this look. My battery's gonna die, so I will just remove this swatch and change my battery and be back. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with that with the shade glitter. This goldish greeny shade. And I'm applying this with the brush, but I think it's another one of the formulas like I have on my lid that would be best with your finger or if you spray your your brush, but I can't get my finger in my inner corner without making a huge mess, so I'm doing it like this. And I'm kind of just bringing it up into the crease shade. That's really pretty. Yes, I think that brightens it up nicely. Then for the lower lash line, I'm, I think I'm gonna do the light shade again. So the, the last brush in the collection is this like angled brush, number three. And I guess it's more for like doing detail work or like making a shadow liner, but I want to use it for lower lash line. So I'm picking up the shade 13 again, the one I went in with at first. And just kind of lower, um, lining my lower lash line, which I guess I should not be doing right now because <laughs> I didn't do my concealer yet. Oh well. I don't know if I like this brush for a lower lash line actually because it's too detailed and it's hard to like blend with it. I'm going to use this pencil brush from MAC instead, the two, 219. Okay, and then just with a bit of the second shade, Fall River, just to deepen up on the outer corner here. And then back in with the gold shade I put on my inner corner. I want to bring that on the bottom too. Whoa. This shade is very like loosely packed in the pan because I just like messed it up. I'll show you. When I put this brush in, you can see like I just disturbed it a lot. So yeah, just something to note. Now that I think about it, I probably should have used my NYX glitter glue with these shades because they're very, very sparkly. And I can see like some of the sparkle on my face here. So yeah, if that's something that bothers you, definitely do your eyes first or and then use a glitter glue. Okay, I really like that. I really like how the gold is brightening up the inner corner. Should I take a little up here? Okay, yeah. Just a tad on my brow bone. 
So I'm going to do the same on this side and then I will be back. Well, I'll finish my base makeup and then I'll be back to try the highlighter palette. Yes, the highlighter palette. Oh dear. Okay, I'm back. I just, like I said, did the same thing on the other eye. I also put my Tarte Nude um, Fake Awake eyeliner in my waterline because I felt like with the green and like my red eyes it needed some neutralization um, I also did my brows and I think that's it yeah I just kind of went in with a tiny bit of the brighter shade again just on both sides to even them out but I really like how it turned out it's nice and green, but still bright. I like it. Um, I also wanted to mention, I did have glitter, especially on this side, because I think I went in like too hard with the, the brush on, and the metallic shade. So definitely I recommend if you have this palette or if you're thinking about getting it, um, use your finger or spray your brush and probably do your eyes first <laughs> but yeah just wanted to mention that but it did come off you can still see a bit of it like if you look really closely um but it came off relatively easy with a brush so i'm not too concerned about that and yeah that's pretty much it so in this collection, there was also a highlighter palette, this one here. This is the packaging, it has a little gold button here that is, doesn't do anything, it's just for decoration. So there was this little plastic thing covering it, but these are the shades, again it has a mirror, and they look beautiful and also very extremely <laughs> glittery well not glittery but like you know intense um i want to swatch these because i think this one maybe has a blue shift which i don't i don't think would go with my look today so let's just see i already swatched these yeah there's like a purple blue shift in the first one starstruck I swatched these in my haul video, but I already forgot. Yes, this one is more of a green shift. That's the shade Blinding. And then this last one is clearly gold. It's Are You Kidding Me? And that one is like glitter. So, oh, but it has a nice base. Like it's not too yellow gold. So that could be really pretty. Maybe it's like just to dab on a little. Um, yeah, I know Michaela likes to apply highlighter with her fingers and she likes it to be like intense. So it makes sense that she would come out with a palette like this. But I think for my look today, I wanna use the green one. Let's just stick with the green theme, I guess. But those all look really pretty. I'm gonna go in with a fan brush because when I have a really intense highlighter like this, I prefer a fan brush because I feel like it just applies it more lightly. So I'm just gonna focus on the middle shade. And let's see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, that is straight up green highlighter. I think on camera, like, you can't really see how green it looks, but when I look in my mirror, it's green. So, that's a look. <laughs> I do like green highlight. I mean, I like colorful highlighters. This is, like, very colorful. Like, almost like an eyeshadow. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to Michael's like this, so I hope they're ready for me. <laughs> okay, let's 
do the other side. I didn't even pick up that much I thought. It's just like so, it's just, I don't know. It goes everywhere, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I definitely put too much on this side and now I have to even it out because there's no going back. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like go in with this. This is the brush I use to just get my fallout away. I think I have to like buff this in. Cause I definitely put way too much on this side of my face. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> but I need to put a bit down the center of my nose. So at first I was like, maybe I'll go in with the gold as like a little topper, but definitely I don't even need to because this is extreme. I don't think the camera is picking up how green this is. I don't know how I can make you see that, but yeah, it's definitely there and it's green. Okay, <laughs> that was a little extreme for my taste, but yeah, now I know for next time to go in with a much lighter hand at first. I think for blush, well, there's no blush in the collection, but I pulled out my Patrick Ta Trio because I think this shade would look pretty. This is she's baked and maybe this will help to buff <laughs> out some more but this is also very pigmented this blush okay yeah i'm very blushed now as well <laughs> i don't know how this is going this is not a daytime look for me. And I just went in with the powder side, by the way. I think that's enough for today. So the last parts of this collection, there's two lip kits and there is lashes. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, no, I cannot put these lashes on today. This is already too extreme for me, but I will use these at some point. Um, they'll, they'll go in my rotation, but um, yeah, I think for today, this is enough. If I was filming this later and didn't have to go anywhere, I might be more adventurous, but yeah, I'm already like out of my comfort zone with this. So let's just go to the lips. But if you're wondering, there are two lashes um, style, two lash styles in this collection. There's one that's very extreme. This is high fashion. And then there's more like a wearable one, but still a little much for me right now. This is Daydreamer. They're both very long, but um, I like that they're wispy and not too like voluminous. So yeah, I am excited to try these, just maybe not today. <laughs> but for the lips, so I could go either way with these, I feel, for this look, but one is more of a nude. I actually don't know which is which anymore. I think this one, Lucky Charm, is the nude, but you can't tell because they all have the same packaging. And this is the more like mauve one. Yes, so you could tell from the lip liner, there's a little strip that shows the shade of it. So this is the nude one. But if you saw my haul video, this nude is like the same as my skin tone. Like it's the nude. But I think, can be fun to try. So these are how they work. You just click, the, you press the top and it comes out the bottom, which I like, nice touch. And this is the shade. 
I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like on me, but I'm pretty sure that's something that I would need a deeper lip liner with, like even deeper than the one that came in the kit because this is still a very light lip liner, as you can see. Let's do a swatch. Yeah, well, it's, it's deeper than the lipstick, which is good. See how light that is? But it might look really nice with the green eye look. So yeah, and that felt really nice and creamy. And then they each come with a lip gloss, which is like a clear with shimmer and like a shift. This one, I can't really tell what shift it is. Oh, it's like green, gold, blue, very pretty. This one right here. And it feels really soft and not gritty at all, which is good. And then the other one is called Golden Dreams, if I didn't say so already. And I'll swatch the lip liner. Yeah, that's more like a mauve purple. I don't know if you can see, I tried to show this in my haul video, but there's like a really cool pattern, like pressed into the lipstick that makes it look fabric-y or like velvety, I don't know if you even could pick that up, but this one, actually yeah, I think for the green eyes I would go more for the nude, but that's really pretty um, as well. And then the gloss in this kit looks more to be like a gold, looks like that, yeah, yeah, definitely more of a gold shift, but very pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the nude today and hope that it doesn't look crazy on me. <laughs> okay, so starting with the lip liner. Oh yeah, that is nude. My lips are very pigmented naturally, so this is not gonna do much for me in the sense of like defining the shape of my lips, but it's nice and creamy. And these are wooden pencils, so I'm sure you could have seen that. So they'll be easy to sharpen. So I think you can tell like <laughs> that actually like lightened the color of my lips naturally. So Let's see what happens now with this lipstick. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's the kind of shade that's so white based that like it goes into the lines of your lips and I really don't like that right now but maybe it just needs to be blended more. I just feel like it makes my lips look dry but let's try it. Well, I don't know. It's not horrible. Um, but I definitely, when I wear this lipstick in the future, I would need to use like a deeper lip liner and like shade in the sides and probably just put this like on the center. That's how I would wear this shade. And I have a cat hair, I think. Yeah, got it. <laughs> um, yeah, but this might be something you really like and I wanted to show, you know, the lip kit on its own so you get an idea. So let's go in with the lip gloss because I need some help with the lines in my lips. Ooh. I have to say I really like the lip gloss formula because it's very thin and it's not sticky at all. 
and you don't like even though there's so much shimmer in it you can't feel like the particles so yeah that's i mean if you like a nude lip this is clearly very nude <laughs> um so i think that was everything yeah oh i'll show you if you were curious and if you want i can do a second part using the mini palette well it's not really mini it's just the other one was 30 shades this one is only 10 shades but it's still like a regular size palette and this one has like a fun velvet packaging and it looks like this so yeah very pretty if you were missing browns from the the big size palette Maybe this one would be more up your alley because there is two browns. They are still deeper for like a light skin tone, but yeah, you could do like a more neutral look with this if you're not wanting to do a fully green look like I did today, but you could still do greens. So this one has like the greens from the big palette, just not the other colors. Like this one will give you more of like a neutral, neutral to green look. But it does have this fun like duochrome here. So yeah, I can do another video if anyone is interested. I know I'm already super late to this collection anyway, but if you would find that helpful, I can do that too. Because I did check and uh, I believe everything is still available on the Glamlight site except for the bundle. I think the PR bundle was sold out. Something like that. Um, and also I saw, I think you can get the palettes at least at CVS in America, which is weird because it's a drugstore. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but I think people were like a bit mad about it because this collection is still like, like you, if you ordered on launch day, which I think I did, some people still haven't received their package and now it's at CVS. So I would find that pretty annoying if I <laughs> lived in America and I was waiting on my package and I went to the group, to the drugstore and I saw it there, that'd be pretty strange. So I don't know the full story on that. It's just something I saw like on Twitter, I think so take it with a grain of salt but anyway I'm happy with how my look turned out um it's definitely out of my comfort zone but I mean I don't have to just do a green look you know there's so much else I could do with these shades like even just these shades as like one and done shadows um, there's more like a pinky purple and then like a blue row so and there's neutrals here I feel like this has a lot to offer in the way of versatility so just to reiterate with these shades um, you will get some fallout but I think it's not it's nothing to like not use this again of course and you can remedy that by just using a glitter glue, like I said, doing your eyes first, uh, spraying your brush. Those are all things I could have done. There's more hairs. Um, but I kind of just wanted to see how it would be if I used this like I used any other palette. So, yeah. I'm happy with my purchase overall. This lip color is not as bad as I thought it would be either so <laughs> there's that um the lashes I'll try another day I just am not in the headspace for putting lashes on right now so I hope you like this video I didn't even like get ready or anything but whatever if you like this video give it a like I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth um, yeah, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to put this down because it's making a lot of noise. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.